I'm not used to doing this with a shirt on. <laughs> Take it off. <laughs> you can't afford it. <laughs> we can pull together. You know, I want to thank everybody for coming. It's, it's humbling for me to do something purely because I love doing it and then have people embrace it the way they have for almost 20 years now. Um, you know, people talk about credibility coming from being a starving artist, so if that's the criteria, I'll never be credible, because uh, you people have been incredibly generous, and, and I love knowing that my pieces of art have found great homes. Um, um, I think one of the things we can all do is tear down that intimidation that so many people feel. There's such snobbery uh, about art. I love this music. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> um, you know, there's so much intimidation. Um, I see people sometimes come to galleries and the first thing they say is, well, I don't know anything about art, but I like, and I go, wait a minute. What do you need to know? You don't need to know anything. Uh, it's always interesting to have somebody who can give you the background on a piece of art. Most of the time, those people are salaried. And your opinion is valid because it's yours. And because something affects you emotionally is all it has to do. And uh, you know, if you're a vegetarian, what does it matter that somebody else is going to tell you how good a steak is. So I, I'd like to hope that we all make art more friendly for other people and, and stop with uh, you know this elitist kind of attitude because it, it denies people the joy of art in the same way that some people have denied the, the joy of theater. I remember when I did Phantom of the Opera. It was, uh, yes, I did, I stopped, I saw <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I remember people coming to theater who had never been there. Theater started as something that was done in the, in the town square. It, it was of the people. And over time, it was taken away from the people. And I feel the same way about art. And I feel the same way about painting. And I feel the same way about classical music. The, the snobbery ultimately takes away people's joy or the opportunity for people to enjoy something. Um, coming to a museum like this should be something that, that people do the same way they go to the movies. Instead, it's, it's um, people feel that they're gonna be judged or quizzed. And um, quite honestly, art, like everything else, is subjective. And um, having an opinion makes it valid. And feeling something, whether you know why doesn't matter. When I was growing up, um, I was fortunate. My parents were both of European stock, so I grew up uh, hearing opera. I was exposed to opera and, and Broadway and classical music and fine art. We would go to museums on weekends. And um, as a kid, I heard um, Torrentot, the beautiful uh, Giuseppe Verdi opera. and. Uh, the uh, famous, famous aria is Miss Lindonema. And when I first heard it, I just got a chill. I, when I first heard it, I got teary-eyed. And as a kid, I had no idea what it was about, but it affected me emotionally. And we all have that opportunity to experience that, and we should help other people experience it also. So, you know, invite people into your homes or invite them to the museums, take people out and let them see what they're missing because great theater is better than any movie mm -hmm. and going to a museum is better than anything that you're gonna see on your computer screen. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. with that, I, I say thank you. Really, it's humbling. Uh, doing this exhibit for me is so interesting because it, for me, it's almost a retrospective, which makes no sense because I haven't been doing that uh, this long, but for me, I see the transition of going from one uh, exciting avenue to another. Um, I'm far from being Picasso, but what I loved about Picasso, other than his brilliance, was he said, if I had to define myself, 
I would say that I'm an artist without a style. I think that's great. I don't want to perfect a style. I want to perfect uh, finding a way to um, transmit my feelings and elicit a response by commonality. Because at the end of the day, we're all so similar. And when I paint, I paint to please myself with what I found out over time is it pleases other people because we share so much. So um, share your art, share your joy, share your music, share your lives. And uh, I'm thrilled to have you all here. And I say thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, put the silly music on here. <laughs>